video. Face mask, guess what? Bam! New face mask. Okay, so I was in the dollar store earlier. Mind my business. I wasn't supposed to be spending no money. Just supposed to be getting exactly what I needed, but I saw a Freeman's Neon Vibes peel off mask mask called Ghosted Clean Pores. So it was called my name, y'all. It was called my name. So you know how we're gonna do this. We're gonna do my regular face routine. We're gonna go ahead and get the witch hazel. I have to use toilet paper unfortunately. This is terrible. Don't ever do this, but I'm gonna double wash my face and you're gonna see why I'm okay with doing this right now. So we're gonna wipe everything off, which is nothing. There's no makeup or anything on. Just the day's grit and grime. And we are going to wash my face with my fave. Y'all already know. So with this, you have to wet your face. And scrub and clean, clean, clean. Y'all, I'm almost out, but I'm so sad. I'm gonna have to go buy some more. Y'all know this is my favorite. It gets everything so clean and so smooth and gets everything off. So now, we're gonna wash this off. So bring this up water in my white towel. Oh, well not regular soap water with me. Bring a little tap water in my white towel. I was gonna do a double mask, but I am changing my mind in the middle of this video. Sorry guys. Um, because the mask I was gonna do, the wash off mask, I'm gonna wait till tomorrow and do it. The reason being, um, tomorrow I'm cooking something that requires a lot of frying. And when I do anything that requires a lot of frying, I like um, using my purifying avocado clay mask backdoored with my anti-stress Dead Sea clay mask. Yes, I use both. Um, because my skin gets really oily when I fry food. Because, you know, grease is popping, grease is in the air, everything. And then you're eating the greasy food. And of course, it's going to be in you working through and all that, all that, all that. And, you know, it can come out of your skin, especially if you're sweating and all that. Anyway, quick lesson. So whenever you fry food, make sure you take extra care of your skin, even when you eat fried food. Because you touch a uh, you're eating it, the grease on your hands, you touch your face, you're touching everything. And you want it to be, you know, clean and fresh and don't want to clog up your pores. So what I'm doing right now is just letting this harden while I'm talking to you guys, because if you watched my previous videos before, this actually is a clay mask and a scrub. Um, and it smells, y'all, the smell is amazing. It doesn't sound like apple cider vinegar would smell good, but it's more apple-y than cidery, if that makes sense. Um, while we're chatting, don't forget to go check out Beauty Mama Cole. Lashes are coming as well. They will, um, I think they're gonna start working on them next week. It takes about a week. Uh, and then they will send them in. I'll get them up on the site so you guys can look at them. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep with the round containers or if I'm gonna do a mix of round containers and square containers. Let me know what you think down below. Round, square, round, square, let me know. Okay, let me go ahead and wash this off now. And you can see it's starting to like clay up and everything, so.
Okay, so we've got that all I'm going to dry my skin. And I'm going to read the instructions this time. I know I got bad, but read the directions. Apply a thin layer to clean dry face, avoiding eye area, eyebrow, and hairline, and lips. I know I'm bad at that. Leave on 10 to 15 minutes, rinse until dry. Gently peel off mask around the edges. Rinse with warm water. Use twice a week or often as needed. Okay. So we're going to see, guys, what this is about. Okay. I'm gonna dry my face off a little bit more. Y'all can see, I love it because it brings out those little marks and I guarantee you tomorrow, those marks from my glasses will be gone like it does all the time, just for my glasses. But my face is so clear and clean already just from the apple cider Peel off mask, well not peel off mask, clay mask and scrub. It's great, y'all. Okay, so we're gonna open this one. I should have squeezed this from the bottom earlier. I'm interested to see what color it is. It says neon vibes. Looks pink. Pinkish, peachish. <laughs> it smells like um, watermelon chapstick. If you've ever, or watermelon lip gloss from like in the <laughs> late 90s, 2000, it's watermelon. Artif that artificial watermelon smell. I'm trying to get it all out of this package without making a mess and get it like all over my face. And already have it on my hairline. Y'all know I'm bad about that. It's not a lot in these. That's why I don't like buying these little paper ones because it's not a lot. It's not really neon. Y'all love the smell though. Okay. Y'all, I'm in love with how it smells. I wish you guys could smell this wonderful smell that I'm smelling. Oh, man. Um, is it neon? When you squeeze out the package, it is. <laughs> but when it gets on your face, I should have bought two of these. This one didn't have a lot. Sometimes these little pouches have a lot in them. Most of the time they don't. So, okay. So I have on as much as I think I can get on. We're gonna leave it on for 15, 10 to 15 minutes like it says, and we will be back shortly. All right, so see you when it dries. Okay, y'all, I'm back and it is dry, so it dried. I pinkish clearish color 
and I don't think I got enough of it on to get it off properly. We're gonna hope. So let's see. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. Uh, so it was a little wet still over there. So we'll go back over there. Ow. I don't know if it worked or how my skin feels, but it right now peeling off feels like I'm peeling off the world. Oh wow. Ew, it's all cloudy and nasty. Ow. But my skin, I wish you guys could see how it looks in the mirror with this light. My skin looks amazing. I can get the rest of this mask off. This is what I was worried about, not being enough of it to be able to grip it properly. Oh. Y'all, it, I don't know, man, a little goes a long way, I guess, because it is gripping my skin something serious. I'm just going to do some watering the rest of this part off. But, oh, my skin feels amazing. It looks amazing. It's smooth and clean and beautiful. Oh, fragrance does it again with the mask. Y'all know I'm the Okay, y'all. Quick update. It's the next morning. And... After I used the neon mask, I don't know if it was a neon mask. I don't know if it was the neon mask in conjunction with the apple cider vinegar scrub, but my face, excuse my hair, I'm gonna do something with this eventually. Um, My face is so soft, so moisturized. Like I have not put any coconut oil on my face. I put any type of moisturizer on my face and my face felt so cool last night. Like like to the touch it was cool and i was sitting here like oh my god it felt y'all it felt so good so yeah y'all that freeman's neon mask is bomb and it's, it's in the trash now um but i'm gonna try to go back to the dollar store and get some more i want to try it without using the apple cider scrub to see if it was just a combination of those two things or if it was truly just a neon mask by itself that made my face feel so cool and so moisturized. Like y'all, it's so soft. And yeah, like it's not dry at all. I have a problem with dry skin, like on my nose and around this area and around my forehead. None of that. Like I have none of that. So who else to feel Y'all did that. Hey y'all, see y'all later.